people write into us and they say, what techniques are, are, are specifically Shiner? Like what, what is unique about you that we can't find in other systems? And so what we're going to look at here is something called ripping the seam. This is a Shiner technique. We've touched on it a little bit before in some other videos, but I think it's so important when it comes to the disarm that I think we need to touch base on it and focus on it a little bit more. What do I mean by ripping the seam? What we're talking about here is the grip on the stick. If I grab the stick like this, if I turn my hand over, what I'm exposing here is the seam, the seam of the hand, the grip. That's the weakest spot on the grip, and ripping the seam is a disarming technique that takes advantage of that weak spot on the grip. Now let me show you how this works. This is a shiner technique. You can Google all you want. You will never see anybody talking about this anywhere but in the shiner camp where we specialize in disarming our opponents. It is by far the most important aspect of taking the stick away from your opponent. Rather than fighting him, simply disarm him and knowing where the seam is is, is crucial to, to, to being able to pull that off. Now, let's get a good video clip here so that we can clearly demonstrate what we're doing. Now, some of you HEMA aficionados out there will recognize this unorthodox grip that I'm using is the PH Meyer uh, grip, which is a staff technique. Now, we're going to let this play through a couple times, then we'll dissect it. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at what's happening here. You have a two-handed grip against a one-handed grip. The one-handed fighter should maintain maximum distance, and that's his mistake. He lets me get inside with a stronger grip, and we can see clearly what happens next. Okay, now that I've gained the advantage of distance that I want, what I want to do is I want to get the seam in a position that I want. So what I do is I reach up and I engage him on the right side of his stick. He's in a thumbs up position with the seam pointing inside. All I have to do is with my stronger grip push straight down, which inverts his grip to a thumbs down position with the seam to the outside. Now that I have his grip inverted, he's in like a true hanging position. The bottom of his hand, his pinky side, is pointing straight up. His thumb is pointing straight down. And the seam is pointing outside on his right side. All I have to do is continue to wind around, and that stick's going to go flying. Now that I know that I've controlled the situation, I've got the stick away from him, I'm going to get out of the way and avoid the grapple. Look at the step back. I keep my distance really far, and I club him in the head. Always finish your man. Never let him off the hook for dropping a stick. Finish him right then and there. <laughs> so that's just one aspect. That's one simple way of using the seam against your opponent to, uh, to rip that seam open and get that stick away from him. There's a hundred different ways, each one depending on the distance, the grips, the size of the opponents. And the only way to learn those is at full speed and at full force, Shiner style. That's why this is a Shiner technique, and that's why you'll never see it demonstrated anywhere else, is because a group that focuses on full contact, full force stick fighting, that's the people that are going to come up with this stuff. Thanks for joining us, and uh, as usual, it's a pleasure to share some of our stuff with you, and uh, be sure to uh, follow us on Facebook, the MSP Shiner Faction, and it's great talking to you again. Have a good night.